Hello everyone, welcome to winsights.com. In this video, we will check out how to enable WSL2 using command prompt and Windows PowerShell. First, we will use command prompt. Go to the start menu and search for command prompt and make sure to run it as administrator. To enable Windows subsystem for Linux 2 using the command prompt, execute the following command. You can find this command in the video description and you can also visit winsights.com and go to the relevant article and you can copy the command from there. This command will use deployment image service and management tool to enable this feature on Windows 11. When we execute this command, the system will start enabling this feature on your Windows 11. That's it. WSL2 is now enabled on your Windows 11. You will get the message the operation completed successfully. However, WSL2 requires virtual machine platform for its normal functioning and hence we will enable virtual machine platform as well. This is the command. You can find this command in the video description. You can also find it in winsage.com in the relevant article. The system is now enabling virtual machine platform. That's it. Virtual machine platform is now enabled. After this, please don't forget to restart your PC and you can start using WSL2. Next. Let's check out how to enable WSL2 using Windows PowerShell. Go to the start menu and search for PowerShell and make sure to run it as administrator. It is very important. Enter the following command in your PowerShell and execute it. You can find this command in this video description and you can also find it on winsights.com. The system is now enabling Windows subsystem for Linux 2 on your Windows 11. That's it. The feature is now enabled. Since we use no restart tag, the system will not restart automatically. As mentioned earlier in this video, we also have to enable virtual machine platform. And this is the command to enable virtual machine platform using PowerShell. Please find this command in the video description and you can also find it on winsights.com. That's it, the system has now enabled virtual machine platform as well. Restart your PC and you can start enjoying WSL2 on your Windows 11. 